Hi guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do another like sit down and form them type of video. And today basically I'm just gonna go over my story, my journey, where I started and how I got to where I am today. So um, I'm gonna take you all the way back to the very beginning. I'm gonna show you some th photos throughout that way you guys can personally see um, where I was, where I went, where, you know, this whole journey, just everything about it because I want you guys to have an inside look of who I really am and what it has taken for me to get to this point. I am a mom to twins. So whenever um, we found out that we were pregnant, we actually found it really, really er early in our pregnancy. And at this point, I'm around 10 weeks. And at 10 weeks into our pregnancy, we found out we had conceived twins. So we pretty much knew throughout our entire pregnancy that twins were coming. Now throughout my pregnancy, throughout honestly the first two semesters, instead of gaining weight, I lost weight because I was violently sick. I mean, it was like my full-time job to throw up. In the beginning of my pregnancy, I lost a ton of weight. Um, but then through the last trimester, the sickness kind of calmed down a little bit and I gained an appropriate amount of weight throughout my pregnancy. Um, so after my girls were born, they were both healthy, big little girls because I carried twins. Now, full term for twins is only 32 weeks but we carried twins all 40. So I was ginormous, um, but we never went into spontaneous labor, anything like that. We made it all 40 weeks and the doctor's like, well, your body doesn't wanna get rid of these kids. How about we take them for you? So they scheduled an induction. We go in for our induction and even being induced, they were stubborn, they didn't wanna come. So I ended up having a C-section. Um, after I had the girls, my spouse and I decided that it was more appropriate for me to become a full-time stay-at-home mom than me trying to work and my entire work pay going toward daycare fees. So we just made the decision that I was gonna stay home. And this is the point in my life where the pounds came and they came fast because all I did, like, I had never not worked. So being home all day long, the only thing I did was eat because it was tangible, it was right there. And I spent so much time sitting and like watching TV or nursing, like it was just really easy to take handfuls of snacks while I was nursing and munch on them. So then the first year of having my twins, I gained like 60 pounds. I mean, it came and it came fast. And it got to a point when the girls were almost one year old that I saw my body in the mirror and I did a double take because it had dawned on me in that exact moment that I had no idea who I had become. I was so overweight and so uncomfortable. I had no energy. I wanted to sleep all day long. And I'm like, I can't be this person. I'm like, I have kids now. I have to be responsible, not only for my health, but being able to be healthy enough to take care of them and being you know, a good parent. So that's when like the light switch flipped originally and uh, Tara and I talked about it and we made the decision that we are going to do something extreme to become healthy again. So I dove into fitness with both feet. Um, I started cleaning up how I ate. I started doing workouts every single day and within this first six months of this brand new regimen I dropped I think no all 60. I dropped 60 pounds because I went from almost 180 pounds down to 130. And then beyond that, I dropped even more to 124 was my lowest. Um, so was that hard? Are you freaking kidding me? Of course it was hard because I was out of shape. I couldn't do a full minute of jogging in place without being winded. There was no way I was doing a push up, even modified. And so it was so easy in that moment to say, screw this. This is too hard. I'm gonna go back to my comfortable lifestyle of doing nothing and eating goldfish crackers. Um, but I knew that that wasn't the answer. Doing that wasn't going to get me anywhere. Once the weight came off and I felt great and I was eating good and I was like, this is who I want to be. So in that moment, I became completely and utterly in love with fitness. I'm like, this is what I want for my life. After I got down in my weight and I was very fit, I got to that point where I'm like, okay, I've lost the weight. What am I supposed to do now? What can I do to keep myself focused and motivated? Because for me, I always need a goal. If I don't have a goal, if I'm not working towards something, it's hard to stay motivated because then you're like, what's the point? So um, one of my really, really good friends had said, hey, why don't you go with me to a bodybuilding show? And I'm like, eh, I'm not doing anything Saturday, why not? So we went to this bodybuilding show and I was in awe of the people there. 
because just seeing these people in the condition they were in, I was just mesmerized. I'm like, because I put myself in that position. The amount of dedication and hard work it took to get that kind of physique was just mind blowing. And I was like, this is something I could foresee myself doing, but I didn't have the confidence to get into that little tiny, barely there bikini and strut around on stage, especially now because I'm a mom. And I was a mom of twins, so I had this obnoxiously huge belly. So of course I have loose skin on my stomach like most moms. And I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to be a competitive bodybuilder after being a mom. So it's something I became very interested in. I started going to lots and lots of shows. Anything that was local, I was going to a bodybuilding show. I was very interested in it, but I did not foresee it for myself. I didn't think it was in the cards. Um, but I started talking about it more and more, and my spouse started pushing and pushing and pushing, and Tara's like, you know what? You just need, you just need to do it. So it was two years ago now, I made the decision that I was going to train for my first bikini competition. And at this point, this is when I was in the best shape of my life. So I was the smallest I ever had been, and I was starting to put on muscle definition. I was no longer just skinny. I had, I looked healthy. I had muscle definition, I had shape, I had great endurance, and I just fell in love with the dedication and the process of being a competitive bodybuilder. Now, like I mentioned in my last video, due to a string of events, I was not able to compete in that show. Um, and so it was devastating because I had trained for so long. I had put so, so much money and time and effort into preparing for a bodybuilding show and it didn't happen. I just sank into the worst depression of my life. Oh, well, I started eating and I ate and ate and ate and within four weeks I gained 40 pounds. Yep, so everything that I had lost originally, I put right back on in a matter of four weeks. People had warned me that the post-show binge could be awful. And even though I didn't compete, I, I know exactly how it feels now because I went off the deep end after prepping for nine months and I gained 40 pounds in four weeks. Uh, you wanna talk about depression. If I wasn't depressed enough after seeing what I had done to myself in only a month's time, I was uber depressed. Like there was no pulling me out of that funk. Because here we are two years later and I just this year got to a place where I was ready to diet again. It took me two years to pull out of that funk and love myself again and be ready to prep for a show. So I went back to being that fat mom. I was back to eating anything and everything. I was back to a sedentary lifestyle. Um, I was still teaching fitness classes at my local gym, but that's all I did. I didn't work out on my own. I stopped running. I stopped lifting. I just, I just didn't care. I didn't love myself enough to care. Um, and then I still followed a ton of bodybuilders and I have lots of friends that compete. And seeing them at the beginning of the year getting ready for this year's competition season kind of lit that fire again. And I'm like, what am I doing? Like I had everything, I was in shape and I was exactly where I wanted to be and I threw it all away. And I'm like, and I'm right back in that place again. How did I let myself get here? So. I started, you know, digging for motivation. I went back through my Instagram and I found all of my prep photos from two years ago when I was prepping for my show. And I'm looking at my physique and I'm like, dude, I looked freaking awesome, but I look like a marshmallow now. Like, How did I do that? So that's when I decided it was time to get healthy again. At this point, I hadn't really considered competing being an option this year because I had 40 pounds to lose. So um, in January, I started a really like casual diet. I started watching what I was eating. I wasn't like weighing and measuring my foods again, but I was just being cautious of what I ate. I started picking up my activity a little, or level a little bit. I started running again. Um, I started doing casual lifts at the gym. And within the first couple months, I lost probably about 10 pounds. So nothing remarkable, but weight was coming off. So in about April of this year, I decided it's time to get strict. Doing this on a casual basis, the weight just isn't coming off and I'm not happy with my own skin. So that's when I got back into tracking my macros. I tracked everything that I ate, I weighed everything, I pre-planned my meals, um, and then I kicked up the intensity in the gym a little bit. I started training five days a week, weight training. I got back into my regular cardio by doing plyometric sessions and running more. I probably lost about 15. 
on my own within those three months um, about tracking my macros again and doing plyometric work and whatnot. So at this point, I'm like, I need that fire under my butt again. So this is when I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make this split second irresponsible decision to compete this year. So I sat down on my computer and I pulled up the um, competition schedule for this year and I picked a show and I'm like, I'm doing it. No matter what, I'm doing this show. So I reached out to my coach, William, and I said, hey, I wanna do this show. We have 15 weeks, is it possible? Because right now I weigh 145 pounds. And he's just like, you're dieting already on your own and um, you already know the ins and outs of everything because you're a personal trainer and you know you've been through this process he's like hell yes let's do this so i signed on with him and here we are i'm four weeks out from my show and as of today i'm 135 pounds so in the last how long have i been with him eight weeks i've lost 10 pounds and um i'm feeling really good again i do not feel like i'm in ideal place to compete. I, I know without a shadow of a doubt, there's no way I'm getting first call outs at this show. Um, but I'm okay with that because I set my goal that I will compete this year. So it's going to happen. Everything is done. My hotel is booked. Um, I have my NPC card, my tanning schedule or my tanning appointment is scheduled. My hair is scheduled, my nails, like everything. I have my suit, like everything is done. All I have to do is finish these last four weeks of prep and go to the show. So I know how it feels. A big stipulation that gets applied to personal trainers is that we have always been fit. We have always naturally been thin. We've never struggled with food addiction or the unbearable urge to be lazy. And you know what? I've been there. I know how it feels. I used to weigh 180 pounds. I used to live off of goldfish crackers. Like that was the only thing in my diet. And then I decided to get super healthy and I dropped 60 pounds and I felt fantastic. I started training for a bodybuilding show and then I hit a depression and I gained 40 pounds back and I was that marshmallow of a mom all over again. And then, you know, I just, I, I can't live with myself that way because I just feel irresponsible because we are given a life to live and I'm not going to allow myself to live that life sitting on the couch. What good is that doing me? What good is that doing my family? So I just, I want to be the best version of me possible and fitness is the best version of me. This is what I love. This is what I do. This is what I'm most passionate about. And like I said, doing competitive bodybuilding is just something that helps push me to become better, to push my limits, to see how far, you know, I can get. And it's just, for me, in this point in my life, it's exciting. Right now, it gives me something to push for, and I love that. So, that is my story. How I went from your typical average teenager to being your overweight mom, to becoming an almost bikini competitor, to getting super fat again, to being here, where I'm four weeks out from my very first NPC show. I'm a first form affiliate now, and things are going great. I own my own business, and things are just exactly where I want them to be in life. So that is my grand story on how I became Inked Beast. And um, I just wanted you guys to know that I'm real. You know, I, I know how it feels to struggle. And trust me now, you know, being four weeks away from a show, trust me, I still struggle with food. Yes, I'm strict about my diet, but that doesn't mean that I don't want brownies and cake and beer and wings on a daily basis. I struggle with that every day. Um, but it's just part of the journey. So trust me, I know how you feel. I know how it feels to not want to do the work, to not want to diet, to not want to get off the couch or not wanting to go work out when your muscles already hurt from yesterday. I know how that feels. Just know that you can do it. It just depends on how badly you want it and how hard you're willing to work. But I promise you, if you want it enough, it is totally, totally possible. So that's all I got for you today. There is another vlog coming up at the end of this week, so be on the lookout for that. As always, if you guys have any kind of questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Also let me know if there's any kind of content that you specifically want me to cover. And if you would like to become part of my Fit Fam, please hit that subscribe button down below. If you wanna get notifications and anytime I post a new video, hit that bell icon, that way you get notified as soon as a video goes live. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this video and I'll see you in the next clip. Bye.